Well, hey everybody, this is Buddy. Well, I'm still starting back. <laughs> Today is Friday, and it's May the... What's the day? What is today? Yeah, the date? May the 5th? It's fifth. the 5th. No, it's the 4th, because it's Cinco de Mayo on Saturday. Oh, okay. She said it's Cinco de Mayo is tomorrow, and that's the 5th. So today is Friday. Uh, what I was thinking about on the, on the ride here was... Even though I'm not back at a good time, a good cadence, because I'm still starting back, and I did have to take the last couple of days off and do some really good rest, meditating and um, regenerating my body after just what little bit I had did leading up to today. I don't know, it could be like my fifth, fifth time to ride. But what came to me as I was meditating and yes, you can meditate while you ride a bicycle. And don't let nobody tell you you can't. Because I know you damn sure can. But what came to me was, no matter what I'm doing today, I'm not going to overshoot. In other words, stress anything, any body parts or anything like that. But I am actually sending a message to my future self that my future self will look back at today's effort and be glad I did it. And I have to think in terms of that over time. And what would that what does that mean? How how long out am I projecting that in the future? Well as long as it takes to get back to my original cadence of last year when I I ended uh, in October. And I might have did a little bit by the end of October the 30th or something like that. But at that time, I had a fast cadence, a fast speed. So, what I'm saying is that we're the product of our last six months thinking. And so my last six months has been all based around kiteboarding. I did run up and down the beach a little bit. Kind of like a little fast walk on a lot of occasions. But other than that, I hadn't rode a bicycle since October of last year. And so you can't expect to jump back on something and do it like you did when you, you were at your top. I mean, I'd trained all summer. So when I started doing them centuries and I strung uh, six of them together right there at the end, I was the best I'd ever been uh, working even since the 90s. And since uh, I actually started rebuilding my body back in 2008. So, all I can tell you is this. You can rebuild your body. You can become younger, stronger, healthier. And, and it is an illusion that we can't. So everything about our system tells us that we're not who we are. And it leads us into a belief system that it's hard to get in shape. It's impossible to take a, a body that's over 50 and make it actually produce efforts as if you were in your 20s. And people go, well, you can see it in elite athletes. Once they reach a certain age, they slow down. It's a belief that they actually are slowing down. And some of these elite athletes have picked up about what I'm talking about, and they're doing things that make people gasp at what ability that they're having. Now, there's not, right now, a science behind what I'm telling you, except it is. It's a science of consciousness. And your cells, your atoms, are hearing every thought, every conscious doubt within your being that says that life is tough, life is hard. It's an illusion to believe that we have to age at a faster and faster pace because of the reality that we see out of our eyes of people aging fast. I ain't gonna be able to finish this because I got vehicles cranking up around me and I'm losing thought. 
my concentration or what actually I want to say. So let me just wind it up by saying this. Speak life to your body, your atoms and your cells, your molecules down to the very essence of the atom. And you speak life and love and you become life and love. You speak that you're becoming younger and younger, healthier and healthier, and you will be. All right, I'm going to cut it short on that one. <laughs>